Hi guys, Craig here with American Bass TV. I have another pros pointer for you today. Before we get into this pros pointer, let me invite you to send in your own video for us to feature you in a pros pointer video. Send a video of you showing your favorite technique, lure modification, anything that you would like to share to help everyone else catch more bass. You can use your phone for the video, shoot it in the landscape direction, that's the wide direction. If you keep it under a minute, you should be able to text that right over to our office number. If it's too big to text, you can email it to info at AmericanBass.com. Don't worry about trying to make the video perfect. We can edit glitches that you might have in your submission. Then be sure to share these videos with your friends. Encourage them to subscribe and hit the notify icon. That way they will be notified every time we release a new video. Okay, let's jump into this pros pointer. This pros pointer is being presented by Jared Lintner. Jared has fished more than 100 American bass tournaments during the last 25 plus years. In 2006, Jared qualified and started competing in the BASS Elite Series and was on that trail through 2018. Jared is now competing on the MLF trail. In this pros pointer, Jared shares details on fishing small plastics. Hi guys, Jared Linder. I got a real quick tip for you regarding small worms and spawn. Um, you know, a lot of times these fish, no matter where you're at in the country, they're, they want to get to where it's the hardest for you to get, the angler. I mean, under bushes, under trees, under docks, under any kind of grass. I mean, they, they get kind of crafty and they get really hard to present a bait to. One thing I learned, I, I'm not taking credit for it, I didn't, don't think I invented it, but it just kind of happened when I was fishing at Lake Fork. Um, I'm Texas rigging, so I got a little Jacko Nico Fleck, and I'm Texas rigging that with a little one or two aught uh, laser sharp finesse worm hook, and I just Texas rig it, right? Just like that, it's got a nice barb on that hook to hold it in there, and then I kind of off center when I Texas rig it, so it's off to the side of the worm, and I'll put a little nail weight in there, kind of let the size depend on, you know, how deep you're fishing or how far you need to skip that. Put it in there like that, straighten it out. Now what you do is you put it on your spinning rod and you can skip this sucker because of the lightness of it, because of how much it weighs. And like I said, you know, different insert weights um, for different depths. You can skip it back up under those trees, under those bushes. You have some good line, like, you know, sunline or whatever you may be using. And you're gonna get those fish that normally you couldn't present the bait to right. So there it is. It's just a, another way to kind of kind of get a bait into hard to reach places and keep it weedless, and those big ones are gonna bite that. Thanks for the great tip. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It really does help this channel. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good fishing.